with the increase in uranium equity prices, has that made it more difficult to acquire new projects in the U.S. because of obviously one valuation and two, some of these beaten down prides and egos and really demolished people that just want to get out of the sector with the increase that's happened now that these people are starting to get a little bit more optimistic? Has that increased the difficulty to do project acquisition? It has has certainly created some challenges. So yeah, I'll just give you kind of a uh, an obtuse example. You know, you know, there's some assets that uh, you know that we looked at that were owned by somebody else, and and uh, by the time we put our offer in and and uh, the the equities were taken off, it becomes much more difficult to to stay uh, within something you know with a cost that's reasonable, but also the expectations change dramatically. And it does create those, you know, when I talk about expectations, and uh, that's where some of the egos fall in. And, uh, well, maybe I don't need you guys. Uh, maybe we can do this on our own, et cetera. That's going to take a little time to percolate through. I, I would say that it's everything, you know, our valuation went up along with everybody else's valuation up. So the numbers get bigger, but uh, the, 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 the hit, the, the bottom line impact is, uh, it's probably going to be about equivalent. It's just going to be able to get to terms that have bigger numbers, more numbers to the left of the decimal place uh, and millions of dollars in valuation to get there because simply the equity prices have changed. Even if you're looking at purchasing something on the outright as a, from a private holder, uh, the fact that the equity prices have moved uh, also makes the, that uh, more expensive. You can't just go claim poverty and get something on the on the cheap, you have to be a little bit more judicious on how you go about messaging. But uh, I, has it precluded opportunities? No, but it's just made it more difficult to get to a point where, you know, as long as valuations continue to move up on the equity side, it becomes more difficult to uh, set a point where everybody feels like it's it's amicable. Yeah, absolutely agreed. I think that's what is starting to happen here. And I think you and I both also agree that this is still generally rounding errors you know, in the big picture here, it still has a lot of value to be had. That should be encouraging still, not discouraging. And then the other part that you said, in looking back at, at Encore's performance, all equities have gone up in valuation, but Encore has gone up more. Yeah. <laughs> Certainly from the two and a half cent level that I remember, but definitely a, a interesting set of circumstances here.